let's test this and see if it's going to work. Um, okay, let's let's go like this. Okay, buy ten Amazon. Oh, oh, buy ten Amazon. There we are. Let's leave the entry at that. So let's just do. There's no condition. We're just going to do the entry. We're just going to back test this, of course. And let's say close position. If Amazon, let's say EMA, hmm, let's use, um, hmm, let's use a 930 close, let's say, let's just test, crosses above, and we'll say, we'll, we'll keep using the EMA, Amazon, EMA, um, and let's say it's a 30 by 30 minute close. Um, and let's say, let's say that's enough for, uh, for now. Let's, uh, or let's say, or at profits of, I don't know, 30%. Be creative, see what comes out of it and, you know, adjust from there. Uh, let's see what, what comes out of this. Um, now the whole reason I want to do this is to show you how quick we can back test. So let's try and in two minutes back tested over four or five. We're gonna to go to our control panel. Let's get rid of that and we're gonna clone it. And then remember that any, any word that's highlighted, we can change. So let's change Amazon to Google. And here we just gotta change as well. Remember to change it in both. And we'll change it to Google, we'll change it to Google. Sense. Okay, I don't know why that actually keeps fading. It shouldn't fade. It should stay there. Um, perhaps my syntax that's there. Okay, so there's another one. It's run over. Let's clone another one, and let's use um, Netflix for instance. And let's go next, and let's go Netflix and Netflix. So it gets it. It can be really quick once you get the hang of it, traders. You can backtest multiple strategies, uh, sorry, a single strategy over multiple um, stocks. And let's do it over two more. Let's get it done quickly. Uh, we're gonna change Tesla. I think this, this profit is just messing me around. Um, Tesla, probably shouldn't have done it with that, but let's see what comes out of it, 30%. Um, you shouldn't have to type it out normally. It's just the way I've structured it there. And then we'll do one more. And we got that and we'll clone and then we'll just take a look and we'll see what comes out of it. So let's do, um, yeah, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Let's see what came out of it. Um, so we did that in two minutes, I think somewhere around there. Um, and I was having to change quite a bit. Normally you just have to change one or the other. Um, okay, great. So we tested this over a group of stocks. It came out, one came out at just below positive. One came out 11%, one came out at just below positive as well, and the Tesla came out at 68.2%. Uh,